By now, Meg had taken to calling me Haz. Every moment of that week was a revelation, and yet every moment also dragged us closer to the wrenching minute when we'd have to say goodbye. There was no way around it. Meg had to get back. I was embarking on a three-phase lads trip, months in the planning. I would cancel, I told Meg, but my mates would never forgive me. Meg began to cry. When will I see you again? Soon. Not soon enough. No, not nearly. Tej put an arm around her and promised to take good care of her until her flight. Then one last kiss and a wave. Mike and I jumped into his white cruiser and headed to Mount Airport. How was I going to be in touch with her? I dialed Meg. She answered. Before I could speak, she blurted, I shouldn't say this, but I miss you. I shouldn't say this as well, but I miss you too. And then we just laughed and listened to each other breathe.